Hello everyone. We are going to turn these red bluntstone boots into black boots. There are things you're going to need. You're going to need a deglazer, black pro ink dye, and a resiline solution for the finishing. You're going to need a couple of daubers, sponge, and a cloth, and some vinyl cover to protect your table or your works your work surface. Today we're going to dye these boots, my Blundstone boots. I bought them because they're red and I like red. I wore them about a dozen times in the last three years because they're red. <laughs> I don't really like the way they look with the clothes I have. So I decided that I'm going to uh, dye this with black ink. But before we dye this, we have to take off the finishing that is on there already. And we're going to use a deglazer with a cloth. And before I started, I put this plastic vinyl on my table so that I don't wreck the table. It says I should do this in a ventilated area. So I'm going to open the back door a little bit. Just a crack. I think I'll start at the back. I'm just gonna rub it in. I want to get as much of that finish off as possible. I'm going to do this twice. So I'm going to do this to the entire boot. So I will see you after I have taken this off, taken the finish off twice. Okay, so I took the finish off. I did go over it twice each time. I would finish it and then I went over it again a second time, making sure that I got right close to the sole here. I folded my cloth and rubbed in there really hard. So now we're going to add dye. I'm using Black Pro dye. And this cloth is damp. It says to use a damp cloth. I've never done this before. This is all brand new to me. So this is the first. Let's see what happens. Maybe my cloth is a little too wet. That's okay. I can put another coat on it after. Okay, I'm gonna try this long hair. This works well for the seams. Okay, I'm going to continue doing this and I'll be back later. Okay, I'm done the first coat. Looks pretty good. I got all the seams. And once it's dry, I'm going to put a second coat on. Um, by accident, I discovered that when I was using this before, I didn't have enough ink on there, enough dye. So I never used this before. So I got a bigger one. I dipped it and I put it on, not realizing how much it had soaked up. And it spilled, the dye spilled everywhere over the boot I had already done. So I quickly went over to the boot that I hadn't done yet and I rub the ink everywhere very quickly 
because I had to use the ink. I couldn't put it back in the bottle. So that made it speed up faster and it actually did a nice job. I didn't have to rub as much. I just covered it up. I, I took the small one and I went over the seams, all the seams and along the sole here. Yes, so I'll be back when I'm ready to do coat number two. Okay, I'm going to do the second coat. I'm going to put a little bit of dye on the ends here. Because I noticed the red or that light, there's still red in there, you can see. So I'm going to I know I'm getting some on that elastic there, but there's no way around it. <clears throat> this is really, I think, the best way to put it on. I could use Q-tips, I suppose. Nice. Okay, I'll show you the difference. So you can see the red still there and now you can't see it anymore so I'm going to do that to both boots first before I go on to the next step okay so I'm going to dip this big ball and a lot of it comes on to this little ball so I'm going to just press down on the side just to make it so it's not so wet Nice. Wow. That looks fantastic. Nice. Okay, I'm going to take a little one now. I'm going to go around the seams. Just take the little one. I think I'll start at the back. Just around the seams. That looks really good. Very nice. Okay, I'm gonna do this one now. You can tell the difference. This is darker. This is, you can still see the red on this one. Do the seams. That was the second coat. When this dries, we're going to put the finishing on there. That is, if I if I feel like I need the third coat, I will put one on. But if not, if I can still see a little bit of red through it, I will do that. But if I don't see any red through it after it dries, then we'll put the finishing coat on. So we'll see you back later. Okay, so the ink is dry. I left it overnight. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to rub off any excess ink with a dry cloth. I'm just going to rub any dry excess we're going to add Rosaline and this is a sealer so it covers up it seals the ink in so that the ink doesn't bleed 
when it's raining, when it gets wet, or when you wear it, it doesn't get on your clothes. Okay. So I got the, I have a sponge here. I just wet it a little bit and wrung it out really well. I spoke to the gentleman at the leather store and he said that I should only just put one coat on. Okay, I'll do the other one. I'm going to try this with the dry cloth now. See if there's a difference in how it goes on. I hope that's enough. I'm not really sure if that's, I've never done this before, so I don't know if I have enough on there. Um, I've covered it. So when it dries, I will check to see how it looks and feels. Maybe I might decide to add one more coat on there. This is the product that seals it up, so I want to make sure it's sealed. Okay, I'll be back later. So the first coat of the resoline has dried. I'm going to put a second coat on. I noticed that I put a little more on my left boot than my right because it's shinier. Um, and that's because on the left one, I believe I used a sponge and it had more and it spread better. Maybe that's why. So I'm going to use this again to put a second coat on here. And I'm going to start with my right boot this time. Okay, so that's one half done and finish this one. I'm noticing some of the blue from the sponges, the material from the sponges rubbing off. Finding some pieces. Okay, I'll do the next one. I think this looks pretty good. Excellent. The left one still looks shinier, of course. I just, this is a little more dry from a few minutes ago. Okay, we'll be back in an hour to see how this looks, to see if they both have the same sheen to it. And if one is more shine, if one is less shiny than the other, I'll just put a little bit of more, a little bit more resoline on that one. Otherwise, if it's the same, then we're all finished. If you found the video helpful in any way, please click the like button and subscribe to my channel. Thank you for joining me.